Hey everyone, this is Ben back with you in the model shop. I'm sorry it's been, I think, well over a month since I've had a video out. Uh, in between the last video and now, I went on vacation, came home, went to work, and then since then I've been doing four days away from home, three days at home, four days away, three days at home, etc. So haven't had a lot of time, unfortunately, to work on the kit, and I've had some other projects and things like that going on. But anyway, in today's episode, uh, we're going to focus on, it's a quick video, there's not a whole lot to see, but basically photo etch details with some of the splash guards, the anchors, the anchor chains, and some of the little deck details. We get all that kind of put on. So we'll take you through all of that. Um, it's starting to look really nice and come together. I need to get, I haven't done it yet, I need to get the ship uh, mounted on something up, and it's time to start working on the uh, superstructure. So that'll be the next video. But this one shows some of the finer details coming together, and I think it looks really nice. So anyway, I apologize about the long space in between videos. Sometimes that's the way it goes. But uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Right, so back into some progress here. Um, I guess first thing, it was pointed out to me that the rudder should be tipped at about a 5 degree angle on either side. So uh, I did that the best that I could. Then um, start adding some of the detail along the side of the ship. Um, these pieces in the back are a little bit big, but uh, for the scale, but it's okay. Uh, all of our detail up on the deck, most of it has been painted up and at least applied. And so that stage is kind of done. I got to get the anchors sorted out next, front and back. Um, I just put this tape on here to protect the bottom. I filled a lot of the holes along the side, uh, except for those two. Those are kind of going to be hard to make disappear with the paint. Um, I did that on both sides because they're just, I'm not going to be using them. Um, they were for kit parts and they show up a little bit, uh, but there you go. You can see a little bit in there, but we'll, we'll do a little bit of weathering on there so you can't really tell. Um, all right, so. Now that that is done, uh, it's time to move on to some more of the photo etch detail up here in the front. Uh, I forget what these things are called, but they it's to protect the equipment back here from one water blast up over the deck. We got some photo etch for that, so we'll be working on that part next. All right, quick little update: we've got uh, this splash guard area installed, it's photo etch metal. Teeny, teeny, tiny. It was kind of pain. You can see a little gap under the front there. Wasn't a whole lot I could do about that, but it's okay. Um, painted the front, the RAF C gray, and then the back, I did a flat white. Uh, i seen that in my World of Warships um, reference photos. So, anyway, that looks, that looks nice. That's an improvement over the uh, kit part. So then the next two go right here. One of, them, one of them goes right there, and then the other one goes on the other side. The issue, though, is you need this lower superstructure in place. And, I mean, I guess I, I could just leave it there and then position that piece. Um, but ideally, this would be mounted, and then we would install this. So I might hold off on that part and instead focus on uh, getting some anchor chains and anchors and other little deck details up here finished up first in the bow because then this area I mean there's nothing left to do up there after that at that point so alright that piece is in it's not perfect but it looks really good it's a nice enhancement Because remember everyone's going to be looking at this from here remember to keep that in perspective when you're building your models especially at this tiny scale that most people will get into about this close, right about here, to go, wow, neat. And that's about all they're going to see. So, all right, anyway, this is good. Let's move along. So, next segment here. It's been a while since the last clip. Uh, today we're working on some anchor details and things up on the bow, the cap stands, and the chain. Uh, first thing, let's look at, uh, I installed, whoops, the little... Get it here in focus. Uh, bow anchor, and it's not quite right. Um, I don't really know if I could fix it. It's not long enough, uh, or it doesn't have a wide enough spread to um, 
go on either side of the bow like it's supposed to, but I don't know, we might just leave it there. Uh, the stern anchor looks a little toyish, but we'll clean it up. It fits okay. Um, it'll work. I mean, remember, you're going to be looking at it. The average person will see it from here. So that's not a big deal. Um, all right, so just a couple of reference pictures here. See what I'm talking about about the bow anchor. I wish it would have sat that way. Stern anchor looks pretty good. Uh, for the main anchors, that's a rendition there, but you can see um, that they sat right there. So they were up on the bow and they encapsulated pretty much um, this entire area right here. And these little guys, the little plastic ones come with kit, they don't lay that well on there um, to represent that. I'll, I'll mock them up here and show you what I mean. Alright, so this is the first, uh, my initial thought was, oh, it, they just, it would lay in there like that. Um, but as you can see, that's not right. It needs to be kind of flatter, so uh, let me make an adjustment here. All right, so um, this is kind of more like how my World of Warships in the video game picture would represent it. Uh, it actually would be back just a little bit, and then it looks like in real life it would be forward so that the bottom of the anchor actually touched this forward section right here, the bow. I can't really simulate that while holding the camera. Um, I could try. There we go. It would look more like that. I don't really know if I like that look. Uh, and I think in the world of the warships they have it sitting right up here secured so that it would go clunking down. The most natural looking way is kind of laying in there you know like that like how I had it first mocked up. Uh, let's get it back up here. Alright there we go. So uh, sorry about dropping it. I think right there is probably where I'm, I'm going to put it uh, just like that on both sides because that's the most accurate representation of the photographs that I've seen. Uh, it also works well with the parts. Get to the focus, you can see the little spot just right there. There's that little round circle, and then you get that little nub. That's where I'm planning on attaching my anchor chains and running them up here to the cap stand. So, um, yeah, let's. Let's get this all together here. I'm, I'm looking forward to this bow detail. I think it's going to look great because this photo etch right here turned out fantastic and I kind of wanted to just get this all wrapped up here for today. So let's see if we can make all that happen. So back at it. Let's look in here. Alright, so I left the nose anchor, the bow anchor, just the way that it is because I thought it looked kind of cool. Left uh, main anchors installed as accurately as I could make them with a slight angle so that they don't look too ridiculous hanging up there like that. Uh, this is the uh, anchor chain provided in the photo etch detail kit. can't remember the name I mentioned at the beginning. Got our cap stands in place. I did add, if you could see it there, a little bit of green and red as best as I could. Um, I don't know, paint marks to it, and then added a little detail uh, to the part in the middle of the cap stands there. I did put uh, a little bit of that anchor chain for the note or the bow um, anchor in, and then some easy line on either side and some posts to kind of support it all. So, yeah, I think that looks really good. This whole little area, you know, is shaping up nicely. There's, there's some stuff happening. I uh, went ahead in the back here and Threw in this little anchor, we'll turn it up here in the back with a little bit of rust and put the anchor chain right there. Um, you know, I added this little doghouse, but I don't think that's really what was there. They had like a little cap stand and a much smaller chain. Uh, these chains are meant to represent the, you know, the large anchor chains at the front, but it's all I've got. And at this scale, it's kind of hard to do anything different with, but from back here, it looks nice.
and you zoom in a little bit and you've got you know just some interesting things happening so I think that looks good um, that might be it for this little segment here so we're pressing along that takes care of the main parts of the detail on the you know the, the wooden deck uh, we have to start working on the superstructure and the guns um, and the little turrets that go on here next because we're basically going to build up from this point and I do need to get this mounted on something I'm thinking about turning some brass I'm sorry not brass I don't have any brass but some like aluminum um, just to set it up on something so anyway uh, let's let's press along alright so last segment for this week's video um, got some photo etched down here what we're gonna do is pieces 252 and 253 there I've decided I can put them on here even though that this is loose still and I think it'll be alright so um, where's it out here so there it is initially uh, folded up you got the little back pieces and those two pieces on the top uh, right there they'll fold forward and the whole thing kinda leans forward and it sets up like that um, the initial issue I ran into I was kinda surprised it's too long so let me set this up and show you alright trying to do this so that I don't shake too much but basically if I place it where it's supposed to go on the wooden deck that's about here as you can see to the left is way too much sticking out now if I go forward of uh, this part of the bulkhead right there I can get it up where it's supposed to be but it's not quite right so uh, what I think I'm gonna do instead um, I just dropped it here get back in the picture I think what I'm gonna do instead is trim off a little bit of this edge right here that'll shorten it up bring it in to sit where it needs to go so then we'll get these two little pieces folded forward it needs to be painted up and they'll be ready to install so alright let's get that uh, done here and that should wrap up this segment and ta-da there it is uh, not a big deal they're just in place I glued them down um, painted the gray on the front and did the white on the back and that's really it so let's go ahead I can throw this piece up here I just gotta be careful it's the same in the picture here and then it whoop banging and everything and then it drops down and you know there you go it fits like that so there's those photo etch pieces so I think it looks cool um, that's going to kind of conclude this week's episode. Sorry it's been so long. Um, like I said in the beginning, had a lot of stuff going on, a lot of traveling. But hopefully uh, we'll see a lot of progress in the next video because it's time to start working on guns and really the superstructure here. So uh, until next time, happy modeling. Hope you all have a great week.